Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the CK Worldwide MT375 ACDC unit. Uh, so this is the standard in TIG welding. So CK launched this machine a while back and uh, it's a brand new TIG machine to the market, water-cooled ACDC. Um, in this video we're going to go over the features of this unit. We're going to weld with it on AC output just to see how it performs against the competition and uh, kind of give you an all-around all overview of this unit. So we'll jump right in. So the, the MT375 is a single phase 23460 unit. Um, you get maximum amperage output on 460. So you can get 375 amps output on 460. On 230, which is what I'm hooked up to right now, I only can get 275 amps. But at the maximum amperage, our duty cycle is about 35%. And to get about 100% duty cycle, you've got to drop down about 100 amps and it's right around that range. So pretty good duty cycle, uh, dual pump water cooled, and You'll notice it's a little bit loud in the, in the video, but we'll go over that. The machine itself is relatively quiet. Um, on the back side, it came, and it came just like this. Um, so it came out of the crate, it was already on the cart. I just had to put a plug on it, hook up the gas hose, put the TIG torch on. It came with a, a rod holder already in the, in the cart. Um, you could walk around in the back of the machine here, and you can see on the back there's an on-off button. Very nice, very big, easy to see, pretty robust. We got a 110 plug there on the back side. We got our gas input, uh, came with a regulator, and then on this side of the machine, we obviously got our fuse panel here, and on top is a tray, so a holding tray, which it also comes with a AK3GS, which is a gas saver kit by CK, came with that. I uh, got a little front tray there for putting whatever odds and ends in, and then on the front of this machine, you'll notice pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, I'm not, I'm not downgrading it, I'm not trash talking it, I, I, I like it. It's just analog display. We got AC, DC, we got panel or remote, so foot pedal or no foot pedal. We got our pulse on or off, and we got TIG or stick output. So this is a TIG or stick machine. Um, I don't have a stinger, else we stick weld with this, um, but we are gonna TIG weld on AC. So obviously we got our AC frequency knob, AC balance knob, post gas, our amperage knob, we got 275 amps, remember because I said I'm only on 230 volt input power so we can only get 275 amps, and then if we turn our pulser on, we have our pulse frequency and our background amperage for our pulse. Uh, pretty awesome, we got our positive and negative terminals, gas for our TIG torch, foot pedal, obviously our water cooler, we filled our water cooler up, put two gallons of water in, uh, on off switch for that and uh, it's, it's pretty loud, but I'll, I'll flip it off. And I'll flip it off just to show you guys. So, very basic unit. And, and what I like about it that is that it's simple. It just tells me, you just turn a knob, set it to where you want it. There's no more background information or going to another screen or finding out where things at. And I'm not saying no, that's bad either. This is just much more simpler. It's all right out on the front. Um, pretty nice unit. So, I like the way it looks, it stamps pretty tall it's, it's pretty comparable I got it up on my table here um, and that dual or I'm sorry a single cylinder cart it's got hooks it's got handles that came with it uh, that, that you can pick it up too as well and then here's the foot pedal pretty nice foot pedal looks very similar to a competitor's foot pedal though but let's just check this out here it also has so it's pinned and it has a uh, handheld remote so you can pop that out and that's actually what's powering your foot pedal um, so when you push down on that it's running that trigger so this thing you can take this out and mount it to your TIG torch and I'll show you the TIG torch here which I had thrown around the back it comes with a it is a CK worldwide obviously it's a TL18 FX so it's a, a trim line WP18 flex head so we can bend that thing and then I got the gas saver TIG kit in there um, Pyrex nozzle uh, pretty nice pretty robust torch I like CK stuff it came with the sleeve already on it so that I didn't have to install that it was already on there um, it came with the gas line with the barbs already connected so I didn't have to attach those at all so pretty nice um, relatively easy to set up the biggest thing was a plug and then plugging everything in. I mean, that was it. So I got it out of the crate, 
plugged in. Now we're ready to rock. Let's give this thing a shot. I'll uh, try a real AC output on it. All right, so we got our little aluminum coupons out. Got some filler material. Grab my tin torch here. So what I wanted to show you guys too um, is the uh, ground clamp. Very nice. Pretty sturdy. I uh, got a pretty decent cable on there too. Uh, not a bad, not a bad setup. Now this thing in the market is pretty competitively priced compared to others. Um, we'll link all that down below. But yeah, check it out. It's it's not bad at all for uh, for what you're getting here. And for 275 amps output on 230 single phase, that's awesome. Um, I mean, any homeowner garage guy would love that. Um, even in a setting industrial wise too, if you had 460 or 375 amps, that's that's pretty darn good. Um, but let's flip this water cooler around. Like I said, it's a little bit loud. That's why. at all. The arc's pretty nice. I got the post low on I think 10 seconds, but uh, my aluminum's a little bit dirty, but it's not bad. The, the bead was pretty good. Um, wasn't bad at all. We were just laying some down there. I, I like the way it runs. It really it really is pretty nice. Um, let me uh, just pull that tongue down a little bit. Let's try something here. Pull uh, the flip-flop. I got some stainless. We'll just flip over to DC, we'll turn our pulser on, so on the and we'll just do one pulse per second here, just to show you guys that that thing works too. Let's give it a shot here. Like I said earlier, that was just one pulse per second. That's all I had it set to. We'll flip it up to. So it kind of staggered. One to 16 to 35 to 50. We're at 35 right now. Let's just see what it looks like for me. That's pretty cool. So just to give you guys an all around thing here, that, that thing runs pretty good. So we got we had the pulse on. Pulse is pretty good. I had 120 amps on that. Um, well, that's a pretty nice little unit for the price point. Um, like I said, if you guys got any questions, comments, or anything, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.